I've lived in Sacramento since was, I was about four years old, but I moved to Midtown Sacramento about 10 years ago, actually, and I've lived in Midtown ever since then, ever since we opened the restaurant. I am the managing partner of Michelangelo's restaurant. My mom and I now that own the restaurant, and so we are the bookkeeping, we are the supervisors, we're the managers, the wine buyers, we're the backup cooks, we're the backup dishwashers, we're the maintenance. <laughs> um, working with your mother is definitely a benefit. Um, she knows me better than anybody, obviously. She knows my strengths and she knows my weaknesses. Your parents are the toughest people to please, or you, you try to please them the hardest. And because they do know your your potential, they're constantly trying to get it out of you. Um, well, I always tell people when they ask me if I want a second kid, I said, I have two kids. I've got a restaurant and I've got a renola. Because <laughs> they're both full-time jobs. It was easier when she was little and I could just strap her on my back and do my work. And now she's got a little mind of her own and she likes to play restaurant and she likes to play customer. But she will come in and see somebody that she recognizes and run right over and say hi. And um, I think that kind of adds to the, the family feeling of the whole place. But it also gives her the idea that we are living in a community. You know, it is a neighborhood. There's a lot of aspects to my job that I really feel privileged to have because um, not only do I get to do technical um, you know, systems kind of procedures that I'm used to, but I can also do, um, I do the billing, so that's some numbers. Um, I do wine buying, so that's kind of the creative outlet. I get to do um, like drawing the special boards, designing the menus, so there's a creative aspect to it that balances out the rigid procedures and, you know, this is how to make a business run. Running a gallery and a restaurant is, again, back to the technical versus the creative. Um, I don't actually do any of the art, but, you know, um, I get to design the cards, I get to hang the show, so. Mom's the one that picks out the artists, so she has more of the creative eye with the dishes. She's the one that, you know, is the fantastic cook. So I might come up with a recipe, but she makes it fantastic. She can, you know, look at a painting and know if it's a good um, technique, you know, the color balance. And I have to categorize it and tag it and price it and sell it and record it and do the paperwork on it. So the running the gallery part is more my thing, whereas my mom has that eye. People ask me, you know, how do you choose a wine? How do, how do you choose an artist? How do you choose? I said, well, I come up with an idea, I research, and um, I make it or I taste it, and if I like it, we go with it. <laughs> it's pretty much that simple. I think my dream goal, my goal for the future, my dream, would be to open my own wine shop. I, you know, uh, would never want to lose the restaurant. I'd love to have the restaurant stay open and, you know, maybe Renoa take it over someday if she wants to. But having a 25th anniversary is now as exciting to me as having our 10th anniversary. You never thought you'd get there, but we did. I always go back and forth on whether or not I really want to stay in Sacramento. It's been 28 years. I haven't really lived anywhere else. But I'll go on vacation and I absolutely love a place and I'll come home and it's just, okay, I'm home. That's better. Like when we went to, um, we went to Italy for a cooking school. Going to Italy, seeing what we were trying to recreate and meeting Italian chefs and cooking this food and bringing all of that back here and people will walk in the door and say, oh my God, it's just like being in Italy. And it's like, I know, huh, it's so cool. Maybe it was exposure to different cultures. Um, maybe it was I traveled a lot, you know. My mom would take me on business trips and so I would see other cities and just knowing that your little space in the world isn't the whole world. Like, there's a lot of stuff out there and finding things and bringing them into your own to make 
you bigger and make you better. And you can't just, you can't stay within your little neighborhood, but if you go out and you find all this stuff and you bring it back, then your neighborhood grows and the people grow around you and, and then your life in the neighborhood is a little more fulfilling. A main part of the success of the restaurant is our staff. Like, there is no way that Loren and I, Mom and I, could run a restaurant without the staff members. And they're all a part of the community. They all, you know, live around Midtown or in the Sacramento area. So they're going to school. They have their other hopes and their dreams. And that is probably the um, core of the community that we're creating. I mean, we have our little Michelangelo's family that we're putting out to the world. So, and, and, uh, and the food too, and you know, it's like, oh, this is how they do it in Italy. It's like, I know, isn't that great? I got this recipe from a little restaurant on the beach in the Cinque Terre.